All right, if you're stopping in for this video, you are in for a feast of Why Math Why, yet another installment. I'm Matt Groden, coming to you from, well, the math capital of the world, wherever that is. It's a secret place. Okay, so let's jump into this. What I want to talk about in this video is why do the signs, inequality signs, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, why do they flip? Why do they change when you multiply or divide by a negative number? It's something that we just memorized early on if you're late in your math career or something that if you're just learning it, um, you just kind of do it because your teacher told you to. But let's see why. It's very simple. If we start out with 4 is less than 8. All right, there's a true statement. 4 is less than 8. Sorry for that little mark there. If we got 4 is less than 8, that's a true statement. And it doesn't really matter if we have less than or equal to there or not. Now, if I multiply both sides, let's say, by 2, positive 2, then I'm going to maintain that inequality. It's 8 is less than or equal to 16, which makes sense because you've now made this amount bigger by a factor of 2, but so too have you made this amount. So these two sides have kept pace with each other. Inequality is a comparison, and if we've kept pace, what was less than to start with is still less than. Well, let's take a look at what happens when we multiply by negative 2 on both sides. And we'll keep the inequality sign there, even though we know we should be flipping it. If I multiply by negative 2, this side used to be less than the right side. Well, you're going to get a negative 8 and negative 16. Now, if we look at this and say, oh, it's less than or equal to it, all of a sudden we're like, wait, what? That's not true. And it's not true because this left-hand side was less than the right-hand side. So when you multiply by a negative, the amount that was less than is now less than in the negative direction. So if you look at it from a number line perspective, we were at 8 compared to 16, and it was less than 16. But when you multiply by negative 2, we now flip to this side, the left side of the number line. And now if we have a lesser amount, the negative 8, then a more amount, a bigger amount, a more amount, then we end up with something that is less negative than something that is more negative. And more negative means that you're actually now less. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why the signs change. So hopefully that was a helpful, neat little way of looking at why the signs change in inequalities. Who knows when the next video will come out, but I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. Let me know if you got any questions. Peace, my math peeps. Keep mathing hard.